नमस्कार लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ड्यूटीज ऑफ द रीडर एज इन इन चैप्टर सिक्स ऑफ द रिफ्रेशर ट्रेनिंग मैनुअल फॉर द मिनिस्टीरियल स्टाफ फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब हरियाणा एंड यूटी चंडीगढ़ putting up the daily files and handling them calling of the cases affixing stamp on each page and document with date and name of the court checking of the pleadings court fee vakalatnama list of documents signature on pleadings jurisdiction address of parties number of copies of plaint process fee one time etc communication and dealing with public litigants and other staff members and lawyers ensuring signatures or thumb impression of witnesses and parties under their statements ensuring signatures of the presiding officers on documents maintenance of registers including facial register computerized print from cis disposal register and fan register the list of registers to be maintained by the elmer and the reader has been given in volume 4 chapter 24 appendix part 1 and 2 high court rules and orders maintaining list of approved commissioners list of approved newspapers for publication and unit chart maintaining list of legal aid councils for remand work and trial maintenance of attendance register and casual leave record preparation of jail warrants before consignment of decided case the reader shall attach a certificate that the undisbursed deposit of diet money payable to the witness and newspaper payments for publication have been refunded to the depositor issue of fine receipt entries in the fine register and verification thereof generating online bank vouchers chalan vouchers and handing over to the fine morer sending list of cases disposed of during the month to the record keeper comparison of disposal register with the consignment list conciliation of the register and overall supervision of the staff preparation of various statements including monthly quarterly six monthly annual statements in coordination with other staff members he shall also prepare his receipt at the time of annual inspection by the administrative judge maintenance of library in the court or chamber maintenance of list of furniture fixtures and other items in the court and retiring room of the presiding officer knowledge of cost and pleaders fee to be added in the decree sheet getting internal inspection of the court done by presiding officer coordination with the elmer for preparation of file for arguments calculation of the units earned by the court after disposal of each day making entries in cis next date and brief proceedings maintaining decorum of the court proper framing of succession certificates and probates preparation of the decree sheet important points checklist first the decree should be drawn up in any case within 15 days from the date from which the judgment is pronounced second the decree should be drawn in the prescribed pro forma as given in appendix d serial number 1 to 23 of cpc third the decree should be in conformity with the judgment contain the number of suit the names and description of the parties their registered addresses and particulars of the claim and specify clearly the relief granted or other determination of the suit fourth decree sheet should be precise definite and complete in itself fifth the decree sheet should bear the date the day on which the judgment was pronounced and be signed by the judge sixth counsel fee should be calculated in the decree or name of appearance as per the provisions of high court rules and orders volume 1 chapter 16 part b 7 counsel fee should be calculated in the decree or memo of appearance as per the provision of high court rules and orders volume 1 chapter 16 part b the decree sheet should also state the amount of cost incurred in the suit by each party and what costs are to be paid by which party and to whom the amendment of plaint and addition or substitution or deletion of parties are to be taken into consideration the decree is for the delivery or possession of agricultural land then the date for taking possession and the removal of any crops must be mentioned specifically as per court order decree for mean profit must mention the period as per order 20 rule 12 cpc as per court order in case of compromise decrees if the compromise is beyond the subject matter of the suit the decree must contain all the properties as per the compromise ordered by the court in the last order in case of a pauper suit under order 33 rule 10 11 12 the copy of the decree sheet should be sent to the collector bail bonds or other bonds how to check type of different bails in court proceedings 
A bail order may pertain to a bailable or non-bailable offence. It may be a regular bail, anticipatory bails, bails under Section 167 CRPC, interim bail, or granted by a superior court. Checklist for readers for bail bonds, superdari bonds, or bank guarantee. To check through SIMS, that is Surety Information Management System, by entering the Aadhaar card details of the surety that the person giving the surety is not habitual or professional. To check whether the surety knows the person for whom he or she is standing surety in the court. To check whether the person who is appearing as surety knows the meaning of standing surety in the court. To check whether the property of the surety is free from encumbrance. To check whether the affidavit of conditions mentioned in the bail order is attached or not. To check whether the person is resident of India or not, that is proof of name and address must be attached with the bail bonds. To check whether the surety is identified by some respectable member of the area to which he belongs. To check whether the value of property of surety is equal to or more than the amount of bail order. To check whether the documents tendered for bank guarantee are in original and bank guarantee is from the official duly authorized to sign the bank guarantee. Before putting up any bond before the presiding officer, the reader must check the original documents of properties, check the ID proof of surety, that is driving license, Aadhaar card, PAN card, etc. Enter the details of surety and identifier in SIMS software, paste the photograph of surety on surety bond and register, stamp the surety bond and get it signed by the presiding officer, send the file to Elmuth for preparing the road car or release order. If the bonds are forfeited, a red ink note must be given on bonds. Cancellation of bail bond offenses should be checked properly from the bail order. For the release orders, the checkpoints for the reader to see. Check that complete and correct particulars of case title, FIR, offenses as per remand order and custody warrants are written. On release warrant in case of accused, check that release order, superdari tallies with the articles of vehicle involved in the case. Check that it has been issued instantly without any delay and priority should be given in these matters. How the cause list is to be prepared is given under volume one, chapter one, part A. Cause list is scheduling of cases to be heard by the courts on following day. The reader to receive all the files fixed for the next day from Elmuth well in time. Cause list to be auto generated a day before. Cause list to be available on the internet and be exhibited in the courtroom or the veranda of the courthouse in the previous afternoon. How the court fee stamps are to be cancelled by the reader? The, it is given under High Court Rules and Orders, Volume 4, Chapter Part C, Rule 3. The cancellation of court fee stamps shall be effected when a document bearing a court fee stamp is received by a court competent to receive the same. When a court fee stamp is paid in on account of process fee. Step one, court fee stamps falling under clauses A and B of the foregoing rule shall be cancelled immediately on receipt of this document or stamp by punching on the stamps with the round punch so as to deface them. Step two, affix your signature and date across each label in durable ink so that signature crosses over the punch stamp. C, when a court fee stamp is affixed to a document issued by any court or office. Step three, with regard to stamps on documents falling under clause C, cancel the stamps by punching out a portion of the label in such a manner as to remove neither the figure head nor the part of the label on which it is its value is expressed. D, when the record of a case in which court fee stamp have been filed is finally made over to the record keeper for safe custody. As additional precaution, write your signatures across the label and upon the paper on either side of it. A certificate is to be given that whenever the custody of a court file containing court fee stamp is transferred from one official to another before final disposal, the receiving officer shall examine the court fee stamps in the record and either certify on the index of the papers that they are complete or immediately bring to notice any deficiency as the case may require. Well, that were all that was all about the duties of a reader. In our next video, we shall talk about the duties of fine Mohara in chapter seven. Till then, Namaskar.